Hello, my name is Eric. In this video about van conversion, I will talk about a van conversion feature that I think must really be considered when planning to travel in a van. In my opinion, not having this feature will not only put shadows over your happiness, but at some point may make you feel terribly miserable. This video is part of a series about van conversion design. At the end of this video, I will put a link to the playlist. To set the table, first thing to say is that van life is absolutely amazing. It allows you to see plenty of amazing things and live unique experiences. You can travel across countries. You can see beautiful and surprising things in nature as well as in the cities. It simplifies your life to practice all your sports and discover so much things. You will discover more about yourself, the places you pass through, and people you meet that you can expect. It allows you to travel where you want to go at a low cost, at a very low cost in a minivan, and even more low cost if you are car camping. So, what can spoil all this? Even maybe shatter your van life ideal. Make you miserable and make you want to go home. Here's the answer. Hygiene. Hygiene is essential. So essential that it is discussed in all survival skill books including military survival skill books. Think about it. How is it possible to spend the day at the beach with sunscreen and then going to bed without washing yourself? How about sweating all day on a hike and going to bed? Do you enjoy having your hair glued in sea salt after scuba or freediving, snorkeling, swimming, surfing? If it's just a one night adventure, you are okay. But if you plan to travel van lifing, hygiene is a concern. Food is always available. For sure, you can always buy food. You may have a fridge, an electric cooler, a sample cooler, or none of these, but anyway, you will buy food, drink, and eat easily. There are always grocery stores convenience stores, restaurants, everywhere. Restrooms are everywhere also. It is the same for restrooms. It is pretty easy to find options. You do not need to have van life for years to be able to find a place to go. On any road trip, people always find a place to stop to get the job done. It is not different in van life. Truckers seem to do pretty well. Showers? Oops, not easy. There is not that many places to have a shower. Gym showers? Not that much of a reliable solution. The myth of subscribing to a gym franchise or brand to get access to a shower anywhere is not that much convenient. There may be a lot of a certain gym within a large city, but maybe not so close to where you plan to be. It is perfect if you stick around close to a gym, but there are few gyms outside cities. Even in a city, you may have to drive for a while to reach the place. If you don't subscribe to the gym, often you cannot pay per day. A subscription for access to all gyms is not necessarily cheap if you are not van lifing year round. It is not that obvious. It is the same for YMCAs. You may have some paperwork to fill out to subscribe after you finally reach the place and may be required to leave your coordinates each time if you move around. Truck stop. Ouch. 
They are quite expensive. Plus, not necessarily made for everyone to feel comfortable taking a shower in this environment. Public pools. Public pools are also complicated. Always in cities, not open when you want to take a shower. In short, it is not obvious to find a shower when you need it. Plus, you generally have to pay for it. Camping. Of course, you can go camping in a place with facilities. This is the easiest thing to do. Now you can take a shower. But camping may not be in the planned budget or not available on route, depending on your travel plans. You can spend a few days without a shower, then pay for a campsite to have a shower, but you will often end up stretching that number of days to save money or because a campsite is full or just not on your route. Any of those situations will not be enjoyable. Camping with no shower. In some national, state, county and other parks, you can camp, but there is only compost toilets. Clearly, no showers. Joshua Tree National Park is one of those. I would, however, never want to have missed staying there. An amazing place to stay. You are happy to pay the fees to stay there. Or, there is a shower, but no hot water. This is not for everyone also. You also have those in some state park. Well, this is the reality behind those nice pictures of van life. It is not always a problem to find a shower, but if you are moving, stealth, always in the new places, it is often a problem. Just think of your own town, a place that you know well. Can you find easily a place to go take a shower? Try it. And you know the place. In short, you get my point. It is not always obvious. You don't want to end up miserable because you cannot wash often enough. What you need is autonomy. The good news is that there are alternatives. Now, let's talk about those ones. Hand washing. Using a washcloth as in the old days like the little house on the prairie TV show? Personally, I am not a fan of hand washing. Let's say that I do not feel refreshed with it, but still useful sometimes. Moist towelettes, same reflection as for hand washing, plus with an environmental issue. And who knows what chemical you absorb with your skin, but Still useful sometimes. Sometimes your day finish late and you end up in your van without having the opportunity to wash yourself. Those manual modes may be useful. A real shower. For me, the only viable solution is a real shower. Having a real running water shower gets the job done well. There are a few van solutions like a solar shower, a bag one or a tube one, an outside or inside shower from a pressurized running water system from an inside water tank, a simple camping shower gear with a manual pump, or a simple insect repellent sprayer sold as said or similar product sold as a camping gear. But even all those solutions have a flaw. An inside shower needs plenty of ventilation to avoid humidity problems, which can cause a very problematic mold problem. An outside shower, yes, but it definitely has a privacy challenge. So, what's the conclusion? Personally, I need a real shower with a real shower cabinet. Here are some thoughts to help you figure out what you want. External solar shower tube Advantages The van can be moved and still getting the sun's heat to get the water warm. You're not stuck to wait that the water warms up. 
It constitutes an extra sink of water. Disadvantages. On cloudy days, the water will not eat much. Cold nights cool down the water. The tube on the roof is less tilt. Camping solar shower bag. Advantages. Can be folded and requires almost no storage space. Inexpensive. When the water is warm, it can be moved and used away from the van for privacy. Disadvantages. On cloudy days, the water will not eat much. Must be parked for hours to let the sun warm the bag. Must be dry to be stored when not in use. Outside shower with an inside tank. Advantages. The water gets warm naturally by being inside the van. In summer, it gets warm pretty easy. 100% stealth, no outside tube. Disadvantages. Heat is limited to the inside temperature of the van. And it is not always summer. It uses the water from the inside water tank. Need twice more refills of that tank compared to having an external solar shower tube that has its own tank. We need more setup to install a shower cabinet. Shower gear with a manual pump. It is the same advantages and disadvantages of the camping solar shower bag. Advantages, almost no storage space, inexpensive, away for privacy. Disadvantages, cloudy days, parked for hours, must be dry to be stored. Insect repellent sprayer gear. It is the same advantages and disadvantages of the camping solar shower bag. And the shower gear with a manual pump. Plus the major disadvantage of being too bulky. Now, what I chose, water aspect. I opt for a solar shower tube, which I will explain how I did it in a coming video. By the way, I made a lot of R&D for this solution. Tried a lot of things to end up with the one that I now use. I have also developed a few tips to boost the water eating. I will also share this in a coming video. I invite you to subscribe to know more. My second choice would be an outside shower with an inside tank. I opt for my first choice because having an extra water tank is a good plus. Especially if you are going to be two people to take a shower. But I put both solutions in my van. I will also explain why in another video. Cabinet shower aspect. I have used my solar shower for a while without the use of a shower cabinet. And I can tell you that it is really not obvious to take a shower without having a cabinet. You must search for a while to find a good spot. Or take such a quick shower that in the end it is not as satisfactory as it should be. It always surprises me to watch at a van tour and see a woman in a bikini taking a shower outside. Honestly, I think that to wash yourself correctly, you need to take off your swimwear. And honestly, you cannot find easily a place to do this. For sure, I think that a shower cabinet is essential. In a coming video, I will explain my simple and very inexpensive shower cabinet. Conclusion If you come to the conclusion that a shower must be one of your van features, it's a good thing to think about it before beginning your project. Effectively, depending on the solution that you may choose, it may affect your layout space because of the necessity to carry a volume of water. It may make you change the size of your inside water tank or storage spaces. It's a good thing to think about it before beginning your project. I really wanted to talk to you about this aspect. When you have not fully tried van life, 
you may not be aware of this concern. It is a good thing to consider this early on in your planning. Like most of my videos, this video has footage from the Pacific to the Atlantic, in USA as well as in Canada. Everything shared on my channel is based on years of experiences. Everything is authentic, genuine, tested and shot on location. You are invited to watch videos from my three following playlists about van concepts, van conversion techniques, trips and tips, where you will see my van tour. Subscribe my friends and share this video. It's a good way to encourage me. Leave me a comment about this subject in the comments section. Share your setup, tips or your reflection about this topic. We all can learn from each other. See ya!